All right. So what I wanted to do today was to be the croc hunter and find the various people that are shit talking the plot or whether they're, you know, I want to find the naysayers, the haters, the complainers, whatever they're called. Because I hear so much about it, people bitching, whining, and moaning about it. I just want to see them in their natural habitat. But then, as always, I just, I get sucked into Reddit. And I just can't help myself from having some fun. Because there's just, there's just so much content here just to enjoy from various players. So, let's have a little, let's have a little walk on the wild side here, okay? So... What we have here is a bunch of players who will tell you that most likely that capitalism bad, whatever. And then we're going to see people here give you a reason why we should be okay with it and why it's good. And I just love to see it. I read the, like, the top part like, before I started my video, but this reads exactly like the pain versus Naruto arc. When he's like, yo bitch, just let me capture you. You dying gives peace to the world. Don't you want peace? Just die. Like, I can, with your, with your sacrifice, many will live. And he's like, no, bro, I got responsibilities. But all right, so your items are also worthless if Neopets shuts down due to lack of player base. So once again, you just know people talking about corporate greed and this and that. It's for NFTs. It's like, like, the idea of, like, Capitalism being a free market and a bad idea should fucking die and a good idea. Like, obviously, this is wishful thinking to some degree, but it's so weird seeing people defend Neopets. Like, it it has some special exemption. So, also, this is, your items are just worthless, not also worthless. I mean, I guess technically they are worthless because, I mean, they, technically they're not because people are selling it for real money. But anyways, with all the weekly prize plot complaints i've read over the past couple months definitely me hopefully so once again like first and first and foremost the problem here is to the burden here and the critic the criticism should be at the feet of tnt for just having no good answers no fun solutions they're just recycling content and the part where the rich want to attack the poor and the poor want to attack the rich is a pretty good understanding of our modern day society where Instead of having, like, a, instead of, like, going after, like, corrupt politicians and this kind of shady kind of shit inside our trading, we want to have class divisions, right? We want to, like, it's so crazy to me, but that's, I guess that's a little too convoluted for me shit on Neopets for one day, but. So, I like to point out that Neopets need a healthy player base to remain profitable so it continue. So, all of us continue to play it. Like I said, I'm more than happy with it to die. Grundo's Cafe and Neo Classic have the relative spirit of the game. And I wouldn't truly care or miss it that much if the game dies. Mainly because they're making poor choices. And you don't reward poor choices. At least in my, in my opinion, you don't. They make good shit. I support it. And they have the money. If they do dog shit, it's just like, okay, well, like, let Red defend you. <laughs> this make... That make... That means making the game more accessible and fun to everyone. Including, but especially, beginners. Don't miss the forest for the trees. So, our defense is that we're going to sacrifice certain players to bring in more money for Neopets. <laughs> I'm just curious what parts of their life that they're okay with this also being happening. So our company has employees here for 20 years and they've given a lot of love and support here, but they're getting, they, they've got a, like their pay scale now is like two and a half times their starting pay or two times or whatever. And like, you know what? You don't see the forest for the trees. These new kids need to have a place and job. We're going to kick them out and we're going to bring the new players in because the, the company has to make more money to stay afloat. <laughs> and if they got fired, they'd be like, fuck that, bro. Loyalty means nothing, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's one of these things where it's just a bad system. It's also in your best interest for powerful expensive items. I, I, I have no idea how, like, they just laid that at the feet. Uh, like, they just, at the altar. 
It's also in your best interest for powerful items to be easier. What was the argument there? The argument was, hey, TNT needs money because without TNT having money, the game is going to die. And I'm okay with that. Like That, that to me isn't really... Like, if we're going to jerk off to everything that's about capitalism in the real world, like, yes, bad ideas should fucking die. But apparently you're more than happy to glaze and to sacrifice various people for... I mean, I just don't enjoy it. Like, when the prize pool is what's... Like, it's, it's so simple. Like, they want you to click shit every day to sell shit. Doll makes been nothing but a greedy little, you know, crypto bro. Just wants your money. So when, when, I, when I find people trying to find ways to defend bad ideas and Dominic and crypto bro, like they were ready to crucify Dominic on NFTs. He ran that program and now it's, he pays for the lighting bill, guys. Like we got it. So I guarantee the amount of people have called someone here a bootlicker unironically. And then we well, guys, we just, it's okay if we shave off the loyal players. Who cares? Fuck them. It's in your best interest. See the floor. I just, I just love this. This is, oh man. And it has a crazy amount of upvotes. That's why I love it too. <clears throat> Not to be that guy, but I, I also just, if people are just going to willingly, like in Harry Potter, if you're going to visit the spider forest, I guess you're now spider food, but Gwendolyn, and uh, I just want to see this person's account. So yeah, it's a relatively like it. Does it have anything special going on? We have a robot Norbu. That's actually pretty cool. Ooh, a mutant Lenny. I like mutant Lenny's. Is this the NCUC Jets? I think it is. Overall, but once again, very new. Already, it looks like a pretty obviously new returning account. Pepe Galore, nothing here. But I also try, I'm also trying to find the people who apparently are worth billions of neo points on this subreddit that defend these decisions all right so the economy is already broken tnt has made it clear at the last fix they're going to fix it by mass releasing bingo when i see the word bingo or this i just i just ignore the rest of the conversation the whole thing is so obnoxious and punishing this game the game is not fun if nothing is obtainable. The idea that Neopets would allow a handful of people. I like how like we just cannot place any blame. Like Dominic is their messiah. Like the, the, the messiah has never wrong. To me it's also kind of strange seeing Reddit just... It's to me... As someone who's an asshole, obviously, not to some degree, it's weird seeing people do these weird struggle sessions or just become pure fundamentalists for a cause and belief and then just shit on religion. Everything on this subreddit is lock and step, and you will find no dissent. You will find... I know this is going to be a bit of a buzzword here, which is... A, like, there's no diversity of thought here. There really, there really is only lock and step, and then there's just, you're not welcome here. So... That's always a strangest thing to me. <laughs> like, they make a very clear, whether you want to call it a bubble or a safe space or whatever, but it's a hyper niche community of people just glazing themselves. And to me, it's wild. The, the self-congratulatory handshaking. And then, like, apparently we, we can't, like, there's no, we cannot criticize TNT. There was no better way. This is the way. This is... The, Like, this is the thing I hate as well, is that when the company makes a choice in your decision, like, oh, what, like that, they're, that's a free, it's a free world, like, they're doing whatever they want, and the second shit goes, a company goes against their will, like, it just critique shitty people, like, it's so wild to me how fast, the, like, the mass change. Oh, like, it's, it's a change that I want, it's the player base that fucked up. Oh, they'll give you rewards? TNT, do better. TNT, re-release this. TNT, do that. It's so hilarious to me. Oh, it bugs the fuck out of me. This is a pacing problem. This is a TNT. This is a Neo point. This is a game standard problem. So stupid to me. And then we just have lots of bots that we just forget about. 
And then, of course, I love when they have to, like, the game's too hard. I don't come in here. It's my fun for distractions. No, like, I'm not here to grind away for crumbs. Like, we all... This is always circle back to real life, and then they're going to defend the corporate overlord. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Imagine someone blaming, like, a person that read it, try, like, but, but I can't imagine someone here who works for, let's say, like, Walmart, and they're, like, now going to defend Walmart. <laughs> it's like, what? Obviously, this is a smaller kind of indie thing, but it's because something they love, their like, corporate greed and corporate overreach, completely fine, bad mechanics, bad gameplay, bad pricing, bad pacing, not, no concerns. I mean, happy cake day, young mummy. I, 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 fuck it, I'll go look. All right, let's find out together. Let's go check out Young Mom. Oh my God. Hi, I'm Ollie from Oregon. I teach fitness, and I'm very passionate about a healthy living. My current goal is to beat NeoQuest. All right, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. This is my own thing. Look at my negs. That's right. I'm part of the problem, guys. I'm hoarding R100 negs. Oh, we have a My Little Pony. We have a useful soul. That, that goes a long way for me. I just... The custom code to me turns me off. How old's the account? The account is literally three months old. Alright. Going hard in the paint, though. So they managed to get all the shit they wanted. We have three, two gray drakes. All right, a lot, way more avatars than me in two months. <laughs> like, or so sorry, it's March, April, May, June. So four months they've gotten 190. C this person is binging the fuck out of the game. All right. I work a demanding job as a fit. All right, and work hard. So let me tell you how I did hard stuff, and that's, I don't have seven hours a day to restock. I have one hour max. Yeah, so some people, the way you view your demanding job to make money, they view the same Neopets. <laughs> They've been working hard, and now their shit's been given away. As a fitness person, I can't imagine they're going to hire someone to take over there for like give free first lessons with big old titties and everyone I wants to be her personal trainer. I'm sure she'd be like, yeah, that's great. That was a bad example. But when I was a kid playing Neopets, things like the Secret Lab and Painted Pets. Yes. And the part you're missing here is I still had fun because it wasn't this stupid fucking comparison. Like I said before the videos, comparison is a death of joy. And it's always been... The comparison game, this and that, shit talking, like I said many times before, if you have more shit, you're, if you're better than me, more money, or more pixels, or whatever stats, you're a no-life piece of shit. And if I have more than you, you're, if you're worse than me, you're a fucking noob with no fucking effort. <laughs> like... When the conversation happened, introduction of NC happened, I ended up giving up on Neopets because I was upset about the conversion, but I didn't return to Neopets until a few years ago. I ended up getting premium to show appreciation to the team. Yeah, like it's almost like if the game was paced better, we could all kumbaya and hold hands. Like it's a relatively, this is a relatively blank statement. I came back to Neopets on a whim, but stayed past day one in large part because I could see a way to get the lab ray. All right. As a kid, I got the lab ray, but <laughs> then again, I was, I got bad. It's just pixels of satisfaction of doing something kid dreamed about the reason why adults are playing. No, they're not. This is, this is not a game to most kids, but let's go. I don't want to take too long here. It's annoying, that, it's annoying that Food Club is as important as it is. Yeah, because it defines the economy. It's a bad system. That's why a person with 35,000 bots does it. 
It's just so easy to make millions now, though, between the quest, this. Yeah, if your account's new, it's not a good way to make money. Space Fungus is premium. The tryhards are like, you are not a true Neopets player because you didn't struggle. Do I care about the Neo Billionaires? I mean, they'll be fine. <clears throat> I think TNT needs to generate excitement, and this is the way to do it. Like, it's such low hanging fruit. They're just gonna re release the best 10 items of the Battle Dome that are 20 years old. I'm not sure where they go from here, right? Because obviously it's like power scaling, like an all anime, where what are they gonna re release next, right? I imagine most of the elites are also. Everyone's a, like, if you don't know, everyone's an adult. I'm just going to ignore your opinion. I was like, I'm going to be the. I can chew on this. Yeah, I mean, you can basically wait probably across like five, ten days to get a decent prize in your weeklies and then get two, three, four, five million. As I said yesterday, we're lucky the site exists. And has a team invested to keep it alive. <clears throat> like, shots fired at Grundos and Neo Classic and other clones. The part where people and fans can have a relatively comparable, similar experience with for free? I just, I, I just don't... I just can't disagree more than this. I'd rather them be a little side project and have fun and support people who just... It's a passion of love or whatever fucked up the same but yeah i'd rather they're just milking the game for money and like seeing people support that <laughs> when i know they're not they're like the capitalism's bad because that's what that's that's how i view reddit at least i've never seen someone be like capitalism's so good i love my iphone and my computer oh my god like, just the amount of, I came back recently because of the new ownership, and I am impressed with the changes they've made. They've done nothing in the game content-wise in 10 months. Uh, me getting grapes and using them for one player battle dome will not affect anyone's grapes. Because I was ever going to pay, yeah. The whole argument they make is dumb. They are mad that their item that will never sell isn't worth... These items do sell, especially well in the black market. You can tell these people have never dealt with people who are worth over a billion because... <laughs> I wish these people knew and hung out or talked to people who have earned over a billion or two billion. Whether it was through restocking or price gouging or market manipulation, whatever you want to call it. Which isn't how economics works. Like, we're going to come to Reddit for economics. I can list a Pokemon card for 10000 but nobody buys it. Does that mean the random card is worth... Another thing to understand as well is that with the cash stack at... These people have played RuneScape as well, but... When the cash stack is $2.147 billion, when you reach max cash stack, you want to have items... <laughs> Because once you put money in your bank, whether it's over that number, it just disappears, it goes away. So you, if you want to be ultra neo rich, not have 14 side accounts, you have to have items worth X amount of money. A good workaround on Neopet or not Neopets and RuneScape is that you can turn in a thousand of gold pieces into a platinum. So it changes from 1,000 GP to one token, so you can then have 2.147 billion of those worth, obviously insane amount of money so it was more of a placeholder this definitely did sell whether you're going to talk about 1.2 or whatever uh the only reason grapes are worth that much because they were otherwise unobtainable yes yeah, scarcity wow and the guess we don't know about the economy and mm -hmm. <clears throat> just so sad
Nothing you said, however, counteracts my reply. Once again, the values may be inflated at the end of the day at COVID being 1 billion because you physically could obtain it and haven't seen it for years. There are plenty this person's fighting the like you don't you don't argue on reddit like <laughs> i've been playing on and off since i was six like what grade is like six is that grade one all right i don't find the money mark really give exciting i finally have the chance a kajillion If we're being real here, most of the one percent are cheaters. Got them. Ooh, negative comments, please. The thing I'm wondering most here is who are they expecting to buy this up for sixty million plus? Ooh, Lord Drya. I don't think the solution is to kill site features. Questing is now dead. Why would anyone want a quest? Like, someone gives an actual relatively good question. And then they're like, it's dead content, bro. This, this doesn't give me instant reward, so no one does it. The amount, like, I've known, I think, six people have gone up all the way to quest 50. At least one time each. The amount needed to buy. So like you, you, don't, you don't need luck. You just literally talk on Discord. And you just ask that they're online. There are multiple people who have literally every art on the in the game. So a solution is just to re-release the items as free. Instead of addressing the root problems. Yeah, like could they have lowered the quest requirements to R7, R96, 99? They could have done that too. Like they could have done a lot of more shit. But. Once again, they're not they're not truly engaging in the doctor conversation. Once again, like the cheater like this this is these are all problems from TNT standpoint, not they should make it as attainable through their app. Oh my god, please no. Neopets is still a thing. That's a throwback in okay. <laughs> we have to like try and recruit them. We downvote them, and then it's like, by the way, please come back in. Come play with us, like that creepy, those creepy dolls. All right, let's move on here. My Neopets, a popular opinion. Let's see how many I agree with. Rookies have the best body, don't care. I hate human clothes and wigs on my pets. I agree with that. It, the human anthropomorphizing anthropomorphizing something like that not a great word that i use very often i can't be bothered to customize my pets that's kind of unpopular the the plain background is kind of a bit boring to me but i don't mind the site getting meta Ooh, i don't mind the site getting meta and making content for adults but it needs to choose it's going to be a stay a family friendly or target adults as it stands it's a lot of tonal dissonance I don't need to be super adult or super kitty. Also, for going deeply unpopular, the non-food colored chias are ugly. Ooh. This is like a pretty obvious thing where like Neopets, TNT knows his players are all 30 plus basically or knocking on the door. And I did like, it's one of the things too. It's like, it's kind of strange to me that you can have various things to do with like pride and sex i can't use the word sex and we're gonna have words referring to sex to do with sex and it's gonna be still kid friendly i have never liked that aspect of various games where it's like somehow we're gonna allow that i can't tell kids to go watch me on youtube but we can have like i can see why so like, gotta understand like we'll just say nice states we'll just say a third of people are gonna be what's your version of conservative Republican, like a third, we'll just say a third or left, a third or middle, and a third on the right. Any parent on the third of the on that third on the right sees stuff at like various flags. Maybe, I'm gonna assume a third of those people don't. Whatever. This is I'll make the situation. I guess those parents are automatically gonna see this and be like, no thanks, goodbye game. Here, 
go play Roblox <laughs> or go play Minecraft. So yeah, I mean, like Michael Jordan told us guys, Republicans buy shoes. All right. I find customization incredibly stressful and not fun. Yeah, I just avoid it. I don't like the gray a specific pet. I, I don't like gray at all. I hate it. I don't like the overrendered looks. I agree. Haggling is annoying and time consuming. Just need a buy it button. The boss would just crucify even harder then. <clears throat> it was a way to get around bots in the first place with the little clicking, the little chombi or wherever you, you get, Vendigar. These are very kitty gloves. This, this is. Yeah, the animations kind of suck, but. Ooh, there are too many dragon-like pets and not much diversity among them. Drake, short, scorch. Yeah, like, turns out kids love fucking dragons. That's why Charizard fucking laid pipe for a full generation. Ugh, generation. People love the fantasy element. We don't want to have a fucking dog in the game because you have a dog in real life. Yet yeah, some people do that, obviously, but. Alright. Customization. Yes, UCs look like shit, but they paid for it. They got to use it because trading sucks. H's are boring. Nemos deserve more love. Ooh, negative comments? Hell yeah. Some prizes and only specified items need to be kept exclusive and rare. <laughs> Not in my neighborhood, bro. The fist has grown on me. Seeing the little fist... I don't think you're talking about. I hate that people have to spend money to play. If you told me I had to watch an hour 30 seconds to make it free, I would. I said I wouldn't mind if they brought back the advertising games and integrated it as a part of the site. No one even play no one even plays the games. Actually, let's take a little let's take a little side detour here for a second. So they're hosting a new AMA here or a new thing live stream. And because we saw the Food Club Otter, someone put in 10,000 votes, they decided to actually put it on the Neo boards. And then we can see TNT Luna's account, right? Who's going to host the event. And pretty cool. I didn't know this was down here, but it says they're, like, it actually verifies who they are. No trophies, no interaction, no nothing. Maybe they bought these, maybe they were gifted them. But zero games played, zero trophies. Like they don't play the they don't play the game. This could link Faley. Please link Faley. I'd be so happy for me. Team, like these people don't play the game, guys. <laughs> like I guess it could be a shell. Maybe like maybe they're allowed to have multiple accounts or an official one. But like it just. I don't know. To me, it just looks like it's just they don't play the game. And their pet's actually called TNT Faley. To me, that's kind of crazy, but... I'm curious what happens to the people who get fired. Shit, I want to look. Alright, so here's TNT Aesop. Foiling the cheaters. Well, when you, when you start to foil them, let me know, because I would love to know. Then we have here a 51 month account. He's never played a game. So this guy has not got a weekly done ever. Never done it. Five stamps, 40 avatars. Does he have a shop? All right, there you go. Are there any more teams? Is I don't know if he even has a proper, like, name. Alright, hold on. I forget if Ivy was the person who they let go or not, but... Nothing, 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 nothing. Just a blank shell of an account. Oh, they lost a little thing down here. <laughs> That's just one more. This was a post right here. So, her and Tally are gone. Didn't know it was that simple to find these people. Ooh. 
disabled, left on bad terms. I'm gonna, I made that up obviously, but. Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. I'm happy they're making Neopets accessible for new players. I saw a bunch of posts on the bulletin board. I want to find these posts. I haven't found one yet. <clears throat> and even some people complaining about Neopets. Once again, they hype the fuck out of the battling system, and then you could just be, hey, just click this thing eight times, and get. There being no challenge, and just to be a relatively kids, like they're holding your hand where it's a free for all, is quite disappointing to some degree. Where you're like, hey, like, wh where am I gonna get my advantage for being super dedicated, loyal, training, doing all the shit in the game? And then it's like, no, you're not gonna get any advantage whatsoever. Not gonna happen. My account is 17 years old. I've spent time collecting everything, participating in most events. Frankly, it's a game. Yeah, thanks for that. It's wrong to be obsessed about it. Really, we're going to go to the 0.01%. Like, once again, this is a critique on Neopets. This, this is not a critique on... The, like, either we're going to, like... So, either we can have, like, a, a world population of it having 20 or 50 items of it... Or we're going to have the Food Club Otter have 30,000 copies of it. Like, apparently there's no, like, 50 or 40, 50,000 of them exist. That's the only place they found in the game. That's the only thing. Yeah, if you want me to run again, we need people to play. I just weird seeing corporate simping. I just get, I just, that's a strange thing. Seeing them on capitalism it's like no we need some government bailouts if i just <laughs> it's always not a true everything kind of thing like that but it's just so funny to me i just if you have something that you've been hoarding for years and now it's i'm sorry to say it but you're i did it continue to do this on small scale stamp available via an event I'm sorry, but you're a part of the... Like, you, like, that is the ultimate... Ultimate... Neopets on Reddit. Hard on. Like, like people... They're, like... Their panties hit the floor when they when they saw that. They're so excited. I'm sorry to say it. No, you're not. Anything that says, I'm sorry to say it, but... Just ig ignore the first part of that statement. So... 1% one in 100, right? And then this would be one in a thousand. That would be one in ten thousand. That'd be that. There's ten people that you're accusing this of. Obviously, it's a bit of a hyperbole, but I just I'd be shocked if he doesn't make the rewards for helping the hospital and battling different, just like they did with the Jadora. What did they make different? The point, like, the, what they said here, just isn't true. The points, are they going to say, like, maybe their argument is that the amount of points you can earn are different in the Battle Dome. Obviously, in the actual festival event, the, the rarity of the item you donated was how many points you got, which is very clear. But once again, I, I don't think they will do that because they, they only care about new players. So, yes, they're going to make sure new players have full access to get all the items. I can't imagine. And if they do, if it's if it's not equal, these people are going to bitch about it. And all of a sudden, Crucify put up on the cross TNT to say, M changes, we know that this isn't acceptable. They'll, they'll, they'll know when to critique Neopets, and it's not right now. I get it with the questing log and everything, but sell as high as you think you can and move on. My account is super old, and I'm... And I'm doing well myself. What the fuck? It, I thought it would be good to offer this view since it counters what so many old players are saying right now. It's not about being old. It's about whether you have <laughs> a lot of viewpoints or not. And it's, and it's also about how you relatively view how a game should be played. How economy should work. How patient, like it's just so there's many things to have. This, 
I thought it'd be good to offer this. Like, you, you literally hit all of the Neopet G spots for com things you want to talk about. I came back. I was so surprised to see how he was making money. I'm just buying funny things for no purpose. I even got one of them my own dream pets as a side bunny. This is my story. My gallery is stagnated. All right. It's a pretty. All the TNT is doing things for the health of the community at large. <laughs> Old TNT and new TNT. And never mind the elites like the. I don't understand why people want to gatekeep things. More than enough outlets for competitors on the site. I've been playing 20 years, so you're at least like 30. Yeah, what would help with accessibility would be fixing the password and reset activation. No, this doesn't glaze TNT, but let me talk about. The people complaining about it generally need real problems because complaining about it having fun. This is also, we've, we talked about this many months ago. It's a child's game. And then they cried for a month when people were turning their nice pets into Tuscanies. Explain some thinking from hardcore users in other games. Warning. I just want stamps. Oh my goodness, an actual... The majority of players are subverted and on the game are casuals. This switch is very clear and there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I think it's good to have mostly casuals in the game because the game was mostly... Yes, yeah, so we, we saw how much of a clusterfuck <laughs> after Classic Vanilla WoW was. TBC was completely a waste of time. However, these ideals clash with the hardcore player base. On Neopets, I'm fairly casual in terms of effort. Anything that benefits the casual player, it's a good change to me. I have a lot of MP, but I don't really spend it anymore. The goals I have revolve around stamps. Okay, my hope is that the game of everything under 50 million, I would actually lose a lot due to my BD items. I paid earlier. I, I've had a TT for years. Did I care it was released? Not at all. I mean, new players can enjoy. So once again, he has to sh like he has to bend the knee and say say that he's okay with that being bad. All right. I had the best freezer for a while. I like to see his account. See if I can find it. And this guy actually has a pretty good post, but once again, it doesn't it doesn't. And most games that have a good player base with different people arguing, this would be a very good post to go over, but like I said before, they're just not going to ban players. All right. I think I heard them, didn't I? He actually got upvotes here today, so I should. I'm gonna, okay. On the other hand, I'm extremely hardcore under games. I would consider myself a good raider in Lost Ark. I think that's a dinosaur game. I'm not sure. A game with extremely hardcore players. My parsers are in the ninth percentile. Would even parse in Lost Ark? Okay, I was wrong. Lost Ark is basically like a regular World of Warcraft clone of some degree. Not to flex too hard, but I've had two, tw I've had two top 25 parsers in WoW. Heroic Xavius as a blood DK, as a tank. I got the debuff where you get bonus damage in the last phase. If you know, you know. And then I also had a top 25 on Heroic Fetid Devourer. We just had, like, I was in a, at that point I was in a shitty guild, but we got the, it's a three-headed dinosaur or whatever he was. 
we had the right rotation, we had the perfect lust, and I'll, I just once again, probably more, probably both of them are more luck than skill, but yes, in a sweaty game, I have done quite well, <laughs> that many people would like, many people never even get a top 500 parts ever, but anyways, like, here's a summary, they don't want the game to be easier, every time something casual is brought up for Lost Ark, it's shut down, I'm a major collector in games, no collecting, They want to play, they don't want to play with anyone but people their level. They don't even care if the game dies because they'll, that's true. <clears throat> a big thing too in World of Warcraft is like when people did player versus player or like player combat versus like real people, they didn't want to play against other equally sweaty people. They wanted to fucking stomp the fuck out of casual noobs. So what you could, like, and if you have, if you can figure it out, so then all like the casual players, either they join guilds to be more sweaty too to fucking pound the other team's casual noobs who weren't in big sweaty guilds and queuing five mans and whatnot. And it just made the game unbearable. Where you were either getting completely fucking your shit stomped, or you had to like wait every fourth or fifth game to find an actual decent competitive battle, and even then you're probably out geared to having fun. Yes, yeah, like Growing up has ruined video games for a lot. Of, like, it's just... It, most people, winning is the point of having fun. And, and there is no true winning in that kind of sense in Neopets. When big changes happen in the economy, people are big mad. People can't handle their wealth being removed, even if it's better for the game. You really got to make a good... Like, he's got to make a better point here for the, the veteran of the game. Because, the, like, this doesn't... This, this doesn't make the game better. People who have a battle zone pet that has 70 base stats, like this is just to like make this is just have a chance to have players get neo points. <clears throat> Were there better ways to do that? Probably for sure. But like mass re-releasing like 20 items that were worth we'll say 10, 15, 20 mil plus. But for what? Like who is selecting these niche stamps? These niche t these niche TCGs. Like, once again, it's like, it's just, there just had to have been a better way to have done this. <clears throat> like, if they had all these rewards, hold on. Let's just say, cool, they had a, something like this, and we have the prize table down here at the very, very bottom. Let's say they're going to lease a battle of opponents. They're going to say, like, one has, like, 10 health, one has 100, one has 1,000, okay? You beat, you beat the... You beat the top guy five times. You have a high, like you get five rolls at the higher drop table. You beat the medium guy. You have five rolls at the medium table, and at the low you have at this. If they had done that, I'd be like, okay, it is what it is. Like the stronger pets, they're gonna get a little more reward because they're more hardcore. When you don't reward people putting time and effort in, like why, why care? That's obviously a problem. Obviously, numbers are hardcore. I'm just showing that, uh, that when people use the word toxic elitist, I just want to literally stab my eyes out. Many don't care that much. But these are mostly men who want to, like, a challenge. They're pushing themselves in video games. aren't like They're not they're not casual Andes. They want to, they're, they're dedicated to a rating schedule. They fill out a form to apply for a guild. They check parses. They watch bosses. They watch videos. They know what they min max. They do DPS sims. They go on PTRs or private test realms to do the bosses before they're actually released. Uh, where do I end it now? Uh, I was trying to find the rare elusive people on the Neo boards that were unhappy, but how do you even earn after the plots? Um, once again, like the, the event just sucks. Like the driving force, the driving force is the money and fucking over people who have stored. Like this is a long story and how like. It is kind of a LARP where people who are shitting on capitalism and obviously clearly has flaws naturally. But I don't see you giving up your computer, your iPhone, all your weird cosmetic bullshit, 
YouTube. You're not, you're not giving it up. You're not giving up your fucking Nikes. You're not giving up nothing, guys. You'll take all the fucking rewards about it and probably complain about it a little bit later. But anyway. But, like, the LARP is true. People are going to, like... The people who are cheering for this would love nothing better if this to happen in real life. Or we're just going to casually just give shit out for free and just see the rich people cry. Obviously, like, some more deserve than others, but it's just... See them slowly just evolve the game. At, just, at some point, they're going to purge all the people. I'm not sure how many items are going to re-release, but at some point, this game's going to die. I just can't see it not, not imploding. Alright. Just wanted to give some props and encouragement to our mods. Love and appreciate the post. I told my partner he needs to make dinner a few times this week because I'm busy and he was like, oh, okay, are you going out? Did you make new friends? Do you need anything? Wow, like actual positive cool shit to do in real life. And no, I, I, have, to, I have to battle fake people on a subreddit that I volunteer on. Okay, refreshing tabs. All right. I thought she was going to be modding this Reddit and not... Okay. I swear the mega threads will be pinned. I know I keep saying that. I would never lie to you. Uh, we're super excited. I can't believe we're nearly... Like, they're just... There's no way. Have they ever had a post here over like a few thousand comments? <clears throat> Their highest post had 2,000 upvotes three years ago. On oh, Jan 6. Interesting. I know resume says, my ship HTML, tell me more. Ah, uh, yes, I have 18 years experience. That's fun. Yeah, I mean, they can say they have 95,000 people, but we're struggling to get a, a hundred comments in these top posts ever. Look at this. Literally yesterday was a almost a top fifty post. Ninety five thousand people. I think this goes to show you how many people have just moved on from the game, if anything. It's kind of a wild number to me. Over a thousand. You just don't see a lot of interaction in comments. Maybe it's because people just lurk a lot more, but. All right, the old art. This is how I feel. Let's get married, yes. Ah, you're looking so good today. All right. The our Neopets mods are tougher than the Marines. Alright. Thanks to the post. This is one of the best moderated subs. <laughs> <laughs> also wanted to know the community that even if you may not agree with our topic, please You will not you will not be allowed to stay here if you don't agree like 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 this isn't like This is an oxymoron because if you don't agree you're not gonna be here. A little heated and thinking, oh, this is just too much self glaze. Uh, I've been on this sub for over a year. In the past few days, I've noticed people volunteering, taking their time. Cleaner and tidier. Like, I'm not sure what so scary or threatening they're trying to. Found the inflator. Whoa. 
Detective. Cherry is better. Uh, the prize pool rotates on the third, so hopefully as we talks will be on it. Is there a way for Tina to see it? <laughs> it's a shit thing to do, but you can't really ban for someone to buy and selling it. But they're mass reselling. Doubt they would do anything, although it's not against the rules. Maybe they were, so, yeah, like, market inflation is valuable in most decent run games. Oh, man. I think we spent the last, what, last 10 minutes looking for her, apparently. I was here at 11.40. Can we find someone who's like, genuinely is shit-talking these changes? Because I've yet to find them. Okay. The void and coverage. Um... I'm not surprised we have a plot with good design. I kind of saw the designs. Uh, they've released that a long time ago. They're going to have an actual plot. Page two is out. Oh, that's the wrong button. Apologies. Page two. Oh, holy shit. Woo wee. That was engaging. So, like, we already know they can't wash it off, but all right. There's still color on that little, it looks like a baby Bruce. So we're at the water fairy, which is kind of cool, fountain fairy. He's trying to paint himself, but he can't because he's rich. It's a fun comic. Once again, no talking, kind of like, it's a little, that's a more hog, you kiss, that's kind of, it's a stronger page than page one. I, I'll, I'll give them that. All right. All right. Preparing for war. All right. How does anyone here? Hey, does anyone here actually play any of for fun? Nope. It's all about shitting on people and seeing the rich burn and the shit be affordable. Okay, nothing. I don't think people take themselves seriously out here anyways. Making all prizes earned during the plot, no trade. I have mentioned this multiple months ago, like 10 times. Yes, that would be a little more interesting. If you can't trade these ones, all players won't be upset, but no. As an orange player, I can't buy up all the prize from the poor. I'm going to play it the ones later. This is actually a rich person. I'm kind of curious. Please grow this. <laughs> is he actually rich? I'm kind of curious. Don't look rich to me. All right, Millie's saving up. Old ass account. Okay, she got the the Nike Festival event. Ooh, slot machine. Okay. Eight stamps. Doesn't even have a gallery, bro. 
daily reward items. It, it's not part of the design. TNT is doing great. The performance must be contrasted with. They could just do make good changes, like not get compared against a dead frog. Why did the did I click next page already? I did. All right, a few more minutes. Why doesn't every player mask by thing in the site? TNT, please increase the bank limit so we can get more charity. Increasing the bank limit? The richest users are usually the least generous. All right. I hate when people self bump their post. This person is out fighting like it's their actual life's mission. They're on a bunch of posts I saw yesterday just fighting the whole world. I want to see this person's account. Uh, show me your sad pets. The site just sucks at loading. Can we stop posting a messy void that loves drama? Okay, let's see what you got to say. Ooh, mystery pick. Interesting names. I mean, they're definitely putting an effort. The home creep, no gallery. Come on, guys, get a gallery. 13 of those for max cash stack. I don't know about that. All right. Post your opinions here. No, thank you. A few more minutes. I just, I just want to find someone who's shitting on this thing. This person has been trying to be critical, but like they're like, I can't tell if they're just troller or actually being serious. Um, could be nothing, but on the map, on the table, it has fairyland back on a cloud and not near the haunted forest. I think the AC cup map, yeah, it's just an older map. Maybe I don't know. Just trying to find the comments and be mad about this. Cat me to me, please. Rachel. I saw this is a bunch of TNT please things here. I'm not sure if it's just bots doing this or whatnot. Or was like a guild doing it? I have no idea. So many opinions. Reward anyone except people who post with demands on the Neo boards. <laughs> and we know almost nothing about the plot. I think T deserves a grace period for feedback. May. Oh, yeah, this is this person, right? They're out fighting. Like, I've been trying to find who they're arguing with, but I can't find it. Right, I see the like I I think Bronte like these are like the two I think people that are like arguing with each other. I'm not sure if they're even arguing or whatnot, but Oh man. I'll take a deep breath, guys, and share one thing we love and excited for. Interesting. Oh, here's Bronze at all. Show the troll post. It is a bad argument, but oh, here they go. Especially because it's the wrong take. It's not a game because I can screenshot my items and print them out and then staple them to my resume. All right. It proves to others that I'm willing to spend 40 hours a day grinding away earning a single stamp, and I'll probably be good. Oh 
Oh my. It's because people are selfish and don't want their precious summer items to be given away. No, I'm sure people who own high-end items have no issue with other players obtaining them the same way they obtain them. By going back in time 20 years, getting them through the other plots, and Apex is done. Alternatively, they can buy them on other websites with real cash, or they can work for 10 years to afford a single stamp. What's especially funny to me is that the people getting the most worked up about it are the ones favoring of the items. Yes, I, I already explained to you earlier about that. Like, when the company is doing things you agree with, you defend the company. When the company goes against, then you attack the company. They don't feel what they're doing. This, they're not, they're not complete rookies. All right, that's an hour. It's not greed. It's gatekeeping or mad. To be in favor of a functional game with long-term proper goals, I don't even own any of the BD items being mass released in the prize shop, but everyone could see the problem of putting endgame items there and handling. Oh, this is her again. Oh, this is not the place to fight. Endgame battle items just shouldn't be from the events. I have amassed much wealth. It's hard to tell people are trolling or counter trolling. It's really strange, but I want to see, I want to see my friend here who talks in all caps. There's no way she can avoid not talking on here. I just, where is she? Come on. The way things are going, it seems like everyone is going to be given out. Yeah, it's that was clear a long time ago. Where is Jaw? Oh, I saw caps. I got excited. Damn it. All right. I mean, for long-term goals. Where's where's my savior? And like, where's my hero of the, the boards? This probably might have been a good thread to read, but my point was that I was being released, but only a small percent of getting them, or oh, the, the K that the food club butter all got. But I probably made 70 million off the bot, so that's not, I mean, I made a bunch of MP during that time. I can't believe she wouldn't post in here. That's crazy to me. The people complaining about items being released need to get a hobby. I've been on this game for 14 years now, this account alone. I've earned and spent billions of Neo points on stamps like this. I fully support the prize shop. Alright. It is stupid and insane to complain about items being more accessible. It's just the principle that I don't like. Oh my. Lisa, USA. USA. They need to, need to get a hobby. Like, this is their hobby. This is definitely your hobby, too, I'm guessing. With a lot of trophies. Ooh. Lisa's a shop. Any big trades? I'm curious. No trades. No items. I want to see all these rare items. Ooh, that's a lot of stamps. Holy shit. How many stamps are there at Neopets? I'm curious. There's probably a way to look, but this says 688. And I know there's also probably coconuts that are probably on this thing. But seven? That's actually a super crazy amount. That's a ton of avatars too. Like this person, this person would be sweaty, but I don't I don't see their, their like, maybe their rich is all impure, but I'm kind of curious. Yeah, I just want to see a rich. I want to see a person who actually can show their like they actually have a bunch of money. And go from there. <laughs> I like their. Um. Uh. I very much appreciate fairness, and ethical trade, when doing so. If you are blocked, there is a reason that relates to the previous, or maybe perhaps I just don't like you. <laughs> 
They do have a really good pet, though. Very impressive pet. Ooh, six losses, though. Two failed. Is that Max Fishing? The Gourmet Club? I wonder if they're still on here. Oh, shit. What's your pet name again? My ears. Just knowing you can never catch these people to me is also kind of sad. Maybe now? There we go. 147. Crazy. Wonder who has his pet. The same to me is familiar. Let's just see. Delirium Tremains. Semi retired. I'm no longer pursuing it, but I have it. 15 years at the top is enough. Pretty strong pet, too. I don't know what the fuck this is. Ooh, a robot Ogren. Very nice. And a useful. Okay. Yeah, they're still playing pretty actively. I I just don't trust people who've gotten all star on multiple. I, I just. All right, that's enough fun. Like I said, I, I was trying to find people who were gonna have that, but there's like one person that I've seen, and they're just. I don't know. Just another day in paradise, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and Neopets lovers and haters. All right, peace.